Hello everyone and welcome. In this video, I'm going to walk you through a beginner Python project that's going to help you get the basics of Python down. It's going to consist of a task manager that allows you to add tasks, remove them, edit them, as well as adding descriptions for the tasks and editing those descriptions. Now, although this is a beginner project, you should know at least a little bit of Python so that you're able to understand everything that I'm talking about and everything I'm doing. Other than that, there are no restrictions. This is going to run on your terminal, so you don't need any fancy software. You just need Python installed on your computer. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do here is to code a function that's going to allow the user to add a new task. So let me say def add task. And this is going to take in a list with all of the tasks that the user has already added. So let's call that all tasks. So in here, I'm going to do something really simple. I'm just going to ask the user to input a task and I'm going to add the new task to the all tasks list. So let's say new task equals input. And this is going to be a string that says add a task. So all this is going to do, it's going to ask the user for input and it's going to store that input in this variable new task right here. And now all I'm going to do is I'm going to append, so all tasks dot append the new task. Now I'm going to add a temporary printer for all of the tasks in our tasks list for task in uh, all tasks. I'm going to print the task just so that we can see all of the tasks that we have added. And now I'm going to call this function at task with tasks list. Now the tasks is going to be a list that I'm going to create up here and it's going to start out empty. So in the beginning, we don't have any tasks. Let me say initial tasks list. And this is going to be the function call that's going to start application. Okay, so let's run this and see what happens. So it's going to ask me right away to add a task. I'm going to say uh, study, and it's going to print study as our task. Now this is just going to terminate the program because we're not doing anything else. So let's take care of that. So now I'm going to create a new function that allows the user to choose a new operation to perform. So up here, let me say def new operation, like so. This is going to take in the tasks list. And in here, I'm going to ask for another input. So operation equals input. And this is going to be press um, A to add a new task. We can press E to edit a task. Uh, we can press uh, R to remove a task or um, F, for example to quit the application, the application, like so. So this is going to ask for a new input from the user, which is going to define which operation we're going to do next. So now let's do a little bit of if and else's to see which operation we got and what, what we're going to do based on that operation. So let's say if operation is equal to A, let's call the add task function with the all tasks list. Elif operation is equal to E. We're going to edit a task. We still don't have a function for that. So we're just going to say in pass. Elif operation is equal to uh, R. We're going to remove a task. We also don't have a function for that. So let's just pass. Elif operation is equal to F, then we're going to quit our application and all we have to do is say return and this is going to quit the application for us. Otherwise, it means that the user has inputted something that isn't valid and that isn't going to give us anything to do. So we're just going to say new operation with the all tasks. So we're just going to call the new operation again so that it goes back to the beginning, asks for a new operation, goes through the ifs and else's and well, continues the application. 
Now, before we start coding the functions for the other operations, I want to code a task displayer. That's going to be a function that's going to take in the tasks that we have added, and it's going to display them in order. So instead of this print statement right here, I'm going to call that function, which is going to print all of the tasks for us. So here, let me say um, auxiliary functions. And these functions are going to be the new operation function in a new function. So I'm going to say define display tasks, and this is going to take in all of the tasks. And first, let me just add a print statement with, which has a new line, and it says uh, your tasks colon. And now let's add a for loop that's going to print all of the tasks. So for task in tasks, let's print the uh, the task. Now, I think this looks pretty ugly, right? We're just going to have all of the tasks in a new line. I don't think that makes sense. I think it makes sense to do something like task number one and then the task in front, task number two and then the second task and so on. So instead of doing this, I'm going to say for index and task in enumerate all tasks, I'm going to print uh, an F string that says uh, the number, so index plus one, colon, and then the task, like so. So what this is going to do, what enumerate allows us to do is it allows us to iterate through a list and parallel to that is also going to iterate through the indexes of that list. So index and task are going to be respectively the index of a certain element and the element itself. So we're going to have zero and the first task, one and the second task, two and the third task, and so on. So in order to print the number of the task correctly, I'm going to use an F string, which is going to print the index plus one. So in the index, zero is going to print one, then two, then three, and so on, and the task right in front of it. So now let's see if this is working correctly. The first thing I'm going to do is to call the new operation function down here at the bottom of the add tasks uh, function. And basically what this is going to do is ask for a new operation. So after we add a new task, it's going to go to this function right here and it's going to ask the user for a new operation. If that operation is equal to A, we're going to add a new task. If it's equal to E, we're going to edit a task. If it's equal to R, we're going to remove a task, and if it's equal to f, then it's just going to return nothing, and it's going to terminate this function, and therefore the whole program. Otherwise, it's just going to call new operation again, because the input that the user provided isn't valid. Now, instead of this print statement, I'm also going to use my new display tasks function with the all tasks list, like so. So let me run this and see if it works the way we want it to. So add a task, I'm going to say study, and it's going to say your tasks number one study. Let me add a new task, for example, walk the dog, like so, and your tasks number one study, number two, walk the dog. I'm just going to terminate the program for now, but as we can see, everything is working correctly. So until now, we have created three different functions. One that allows us to add a task to the tasks list, one that allows us to ask the user for a new operation to perform, and one that allows us to display all of the tasks in the tasks list. Now let's create a function that allows us to remove a task from the tasks list. So let me say define remove task. This is going to take in the all tasks list. And the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to ask the user for the number of the tasks that they want to remove, and then remove the task that corresponds to that number. So I'm going to say task number equals input, enter the number of the task you want to remove, like so. And now all I need to do is remove this task from the all tasks list. So I'm going to say all tasks dot remove. And the way that remove works is it takes in the element that you want to remove. The element that we want to remove is going to be the element at the index task number minus one in the all tasks list. So it's going to say uh, all tasks at the index 
int, don't forget to convert it to an integer, task number minus one, right? Because the task number is going to be one plus the index of that task in the tasks uh, list. And so we need to access the task number minus one of the all tasks list. So this removes the element for us. Now let me just print a flag here, which is going to be an F string, and it's going to say backslash n item with the number uh, task number removed, like so. So this is just going to tell us that the item has been removed correctly. Now I'm going to display all of the tasks, so display all tasks, and I'm going to ask the user for a new operation, all tasks, like so. Okay, now all I need to do is in the new operation function where it says if operation equals R, we're going to call this remove task function, remove task with the all tasks like so. So let's see if this works. Let me run this. Uh, let me pull this up. So add a task, I'm going to say study. Then I'm going to just add a new task, uh, walk the dog. And then I'm going to say R. So this is going to allow us to remove a task. It's going to say, enter the number of the task you want to remove. I want to remove task number one. So I'm going to type a one. And this is going to say item one removed. Your tasks walk the dog has passed to be the first task because we, we removed the first task, which was study. And it's going to ask me for a new operation. If I type remove again, it's going to ask me to enter the task number to remove. If I type one, it's going to remove all of the tasks from my tasks list. Now, as you can see, when I don't have any tasks in my task list, it's just going to say your tasks colon and then just not show anything else. So let's make this a little bit prettier when I don't have tasks. Let me terminate this. Let me pull this down. And in my display tasks right here, I'm going to add a section that's going to check if the tasks list is empty or not. So if the length of tasks uh, of all tasks is equal to zero, actually let's make this smaller than or equal to zero, then I'm just going to print um, no tasks. And otherwise, so else, I'm going to put this print statement right here. So let me run this again to show you what it looks like. Uh, let me just pull this up. I'm going to say a study and let me just remove the task study. And it's going to say your tasks, no tasks. There's actually a weird space here. Let me just fix that uh, instead of having here, uh, right here, instead of having a backslash N, let's just put it like this and let's continue. So let me just terminate this so that it's not running indefinitely. And now the last operation that we're going to code for today is going to be the edit tasks operation. So let me go down here. Let me say define edit task. This is going to take in the all tasks list. And this is going to work very similarly to the remove task function. We're going to ask for the number of the tasks that the user wants to edit, and we're going to allow them to edit that task. So I'm going to say task number is going to equal an input from the user, enter the number of the task you want to edit, and we're going to allow the user to edit this task. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to say new task equals input uh, edit task, like so, and the user is going to edit the task. And now we're going to say all tasks at the index int task number minus one is going to be the new task. So we're going to replace the task at the index task number minus one with the new task in the all tasks list. It's that simple. Now let's just print the flag. So let me say print an F string, which is going to be um, item at the task number uh, edited like so. Now let me say display tasks with the all tasks and let's ask for a new operation like so with the all tasks list. Now all I need to do to be able to edit a task is go up here to my operation uh, function and here what I have the E I'm going to say 
edit task with the all tasks list, like so. So let's run this. Let's see if it works correctly. Let me pull this up. I'm going to say study. Uh, let's add a new task, walk the dog. Um, let's just add a new task, uh, gym, for example. And I'm going to remove the second task, so walk the dog. So now we're left with study and gym. Now I'm going to say edit a task. Uh, I'm going to add to edit task number one. Um, studying done for the day. And we're left with studying done for the day and gym. So editing the task works correctly. Let me terminate the program. And there you go. So this is all I'm going to do for this video. I'm going to do at least another video, maybe two more videos with the description edition. And also I'm going to help you to validate the input from the user, right? Because the user can input basically anything and you need to know if what the user inputted is valid and is going to work in the operations that you're performing in your functions. I'm also going to help you make this a little bit prettier because it's really ugly if I pull this up. I have uh, random spaces in random places. I have places where I don't have spaces. It just looks really ugly. So we're going to do all of those things in next videos. So thank you for, so much for following along and I'll see you then.